for as good an idea, Michael, as it is that Garrett Cole's on your mound and you got to win that game, there's a variety of ways to win it. Have him hold things in place and then just start swinging away. Well, it's interesting because I didn't think that uh, Garrett Cole had his best stuff. I think he picked it up toward the end and he got up to 97 pitches and they took him out. And if you could get six, the Yankees definitely have the relievers to cover three innings. But I think that the big part of this game that did not happen during the 10 games during the regular season when the Rays won eight of them, the Yankees have their full arsenal of offensive power. They didn't have Stanton for most of those games. They didn't have Judge for most of those games. This is an unforgiving lineup from top to bottom. And you could see against Snell, they did not chase out of the zone. They made Snell work for every single out that he got. And the Yankees did not look like they were going to be denied tonight. So having Cole not pitch his great game and still winning the game, that's an added bonus. You know, Paul, I wanted to get your thoughts on this Yankee lineup. 15 hits, four home runs, and obviously Judge and Stanton are the big guys in the middle of the lineup. But the two guys at the end, Frazier and Higashioka, they also go deep. I mean, what a lineup. It's a tough one all the way one through nine. No doubt about it. And I mean, is this the dream part of the year where you can get this lineup uh, swinging the bats well all the way through October? Well, if you do and you have days like you have so far in the playoffs, you can win a world championship. And I thought it was a very smart thing that Aaron Boone did by putting Fraser in the lineup, knowing he probably would go to Garter later. But if you don't play Frazier tonight and he didn't play this series, you probably lose him because it's probably eight, ten days without playing a game. For him to come out not playing in a week, go deep, I mean, this was a really good game up and down the lineup offensively. Yeah, that was a good sign and a great call there to put him in the game for Aaron Boone. Now, Buck, I want to go back to the series against Cleveland because you told us something that was so terrific. It was sometimes you got to win innings. And in that fifth inning, the Yankees get a couple of home runs. They take the lead. And I thought that Cole and Higashioka really grinded through that inning together to hold things right in place and keep that lead. Well, I think uh, the game, if I look back at the game, I think about the first inning again. You know, uh, Snell ended up throwing 20 pitches. They made him work for everything. And, you know, he hasn't been a real uh, deep into the game pitcher anyway, but they really made him, after the inning was over, they won the first inning. And I thought one of the key at-bats was the very first at-bat of the game. You know, he has a 10-pitch at-bat, I believe, uh, uh, LeMay who did and then he hits a line drive right by his ear hole just sending a little message that you might need your full stable of pitchers tonight because we're going to we're going to swing the bats but I thought Booney had a great night I did you think about what Paul said Frazier worked out I thought Wade moving to second base at the right time he made a 4-6 force that uh, uh, LeMay who probably wouldn't have made the catcher had a big big night Higgy did what he does offensively this is a guy that had pretty good minor league numbers this is not something that unusual for him you look at his decision of when to take uh Cole out of the game. That's not easy. Green comes in. Britain comes in. They do what they're supposed to do because, you know, Cole had one of his best innings the last inning. It's been very easy to run him back out there. But I, I thought uh, everything Aaron touched today was really worked out.